Hey, today we're looking at the latest hotfix that was just released. The CEO of Arrowhead has confirmed that you can now receive super credits instead of the war bond for the Super Citizen Edition. Also, there have been reports of bots spamming Twitter amidst the ongoing Sony controversy. Not only that, but the Helldivers 2 Discord users are standing up for Arrowhead Worker after he was recently let go, and there is so much more that we will be covering. Let's begin by talking about some good news. If you've recently bought the Super Citizen Edition, you can now get Super Credits instead of the War Bond. The CEO of Arrowhead has confirmed over on Twitter that you can contact their support team to request Super Credits. There's this user who asks, I purchased the Still Veterans War Bond before I upgraded to the Super Citizen Edition. Kind of bummed it didn't refund me the Super Credits that I spent on purchasing the War Bond. That said, still really enjoying this game. Keep it up. Johan, the Arrowhead CEO, responded with, Hey, please reach out to customer support and they'll help you. You should absolutely receive the equivalent super credits for doing in that order. Now, why would you want to receive super credits instead of the stilled veteran war bond? Suppose you have already bought the war bond, for example, in this case, this member has, so it might seem pointless to buy the super citizen edition, right? This is where the super credits become useful. You can now get the war bond of your choice. I recommend doing this as soon as possible so you can pick up the Polar Patriot war bond once released. I will also be doing a war bond review so make sure you are subscribed and you do have the notifications on. Also if you're wondering how to reach the support site you can simply google arrowhead support. It should be the first or second link that takes you directly to arrowhead.zendesk.com. Once you're there click the green button in the top right corner and fill in all the necessary information. But make sure to explain your situation, tell them that you have already purchased the war bond and now you have the Super Citizen Edition, but you would like to receive the credits instead. They should be able to assist you. Let's now shift our focus to the hotfix. We received a patch yesterday, but it seems that it didn't resolve the crashing issues. As you can see at the top, it's labeled as patch 01.000.303. Right below that, we have a section titled Fixes, and directly underneath that, it states, Fix for common crash related to damage over time use. Fix for a very common crash related to hot joining quick play sessions that become full. This unfortunately means that hot joining players won't show up in the recent playlist until they drop down to the planet or not at all if they leave from the loadout. All I can say is that I am grateful that this hotfix has been released. I experienced quite a few crashes yesterday to the point where I decided to just say screw it. To be fair, it only happened twice so it wasn't too bad. However, it was really frustrating when I was at the end of the mission with a bunch of samples and Next thing you know, the game crashed. Definitely not a fun experience. Next, we have some info about the Sony controversy because apparently bots were used to spam Twitter about the issue. This was reported by a Twitter user named Master of the TDS, and he mentions this right here. After facing significant backlash, PlayStation and Sony decided to backtrack on the decision for now and not require accounts to be linked. However, it appears that the bots are actively discussing the PSN link change and are praising it while also making poor jokes at the expense of players. Many of these accounts mention Sony and a large number of them follow each other and frequently comment and interact with each other. It's important to note that many of these accounts have blue check marks indicating they are verified which suggests that someone is paying for them. The identity of the pairs and the reason behind this activity remains open questions. There are quite a few screenshots at the bottom of this page. Credit to Master of TDS for this discovery. It's Honestly, rather strange to see a surge of bots spamming Twitter about the recent Sony PSN link issues, but as you can tell, it's a bot, or more likely an AI, because the comments here are absurd. For instance, one comment says, Sounds like Helldivers could use a GPS and a compass to navigate this update. And here's another comment that says, Looks like Helldivers are going to need a lot of extra teamwork after this update, which seems to have been copied and pasted multiple times by various bots. And yeah, it's quite peculiar. All these accounts have blue check marks and are specifically mentioning Helldivers in their post. Seems like someone out here had a motive, but I honestly can't fathom as to why someone would spend their time doing something like this. So what are your thoughts about this? Let me know down below. All right, it's time to dive deeper into the recent Sony issues. I hope you're not tired of hearing about it, but it's important that we do discuss this. As of late, it seems that players are blaming Arrowhead for the region lock decisions. However, it's not the case here because According to recent statements by Baskinator, Sony is the one controlling the Steam page. She responded to a Discord member saying, We aren't in control of the store page. Then Baskinator went on to say, It is Sony's store page. I think Valve did the locking, but now the whole thing had to be worked out by Valve and Sony together. Well, it seems we will have to wait for Steam and Sony to resolve this situation. Hopefully it will be sooner rather than later. 
And last but not least, let's talk about Spitz. Uh, where do I begin? If you've seen my recent video, then you already know that he's been fired, let go, dismissed, or as one of you have said in the previous video, that he has returned to civilian life. You guys are ruthless, by the way. And with that being said, there is some hostility going around here because some Discord members are actually upset about it and they're blaming a bunch of people here. For example, there's this one Discord member that says, just spam support ticket system with rehire spits request LMAO. Baskinator replied with, please don't do that. The community team and support teams have no control over these things. Even Twinbeard, who I've grown to like, had a conversation with a member. He received some backlash, even though as far as I'm aware, it's not his fault. Anyways, this is what the member had to say. In the end of the day, it's also Twinbeard's fault having Spitz SEM. The fault falls on his command. Twinbeard responded with, Sorry Thiago, but even if I might be flattered that you think I'm his manager, I had absolutely nothing to do with that. There are or were three CMs here and we all share the same manager. This was a decision made well above and beyond any of us here. Then another member asked Twinbeard, was Spitz really fired? This was his response. Spitz was let go. Yes, I won't do this. His contract was ended prematurely, yada yada stuff, as I think it's unworthy in corporate lingo. Side note, I don't know why Johnny Silverhand popped up in my head when he said corporate lingo, but anyways, we're going to continue on here and take a look at this response from another member that says, you talk like you're not in the business. You are a CM employed by AH. Then Twinbeard responded with, sorry, I think I talk exactly like an Arrowhead employee. What I'm saying is that I never liked corporate stuff. If someone is let go for whatever reason, they're let go. Even it's officially always called contract prematurely ended. X and the management don't share their view on how to do X, etc. I was being kind instead of doing the cold approach. Now he does continue on with the post, but it's not worth mentioning. Just that one part is because as you can tell, he's definitely receiving a lot of backlash for something he has no control over. My two cents on this is that I genuinely don't think Twinbeard deserves this backlash. He seems to be doing his utmost, maintaining professionalism without being overly corporate and genuinely appears to be a good person. What are your views on some of these members standing up for Spitz? Let me know. And last but not least, we do have to go over one more thing that I forgot to include and this question right here was asked by this user who says, when is enough enough with balancing nerfs in every effing week? Why should we buy war bonds if weapons we get are changed immediately? It's beyond excessive at this point and tiring. Twinbeard replied with, that's valid feedback, thanks. That is the STH we need to discuss and weigh in, I believe, in our discussions internally. One thing is that we have to tweak both boost and nerf things continuously since, as we introduce new things, we have to balance others. Hopefully, though, most of the items should find their sweet spot. There is also a general idea that most players will earn credits and medals enough to buy stuff, old and new, and that we don't end up in the, oh man, I just saved up for X and then you nerfed it too often. Useful input in any case. Thanks. This is indeed some valid feedback. I had concerns that this game would end up like Destiny with exotics being nerfed. It's not enjoyable to invest effort into acquiring a weapon that will overall become obsolete in just a month or two, you know? It just it sucks, right? Well, this is the end of the video, and here are the top three comments from the previous video. If you'd like to be featured in the next video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Coming up at number one, we have Scott Dawson, and he says, Squid is the one that really needs firing. The dude used false SA allegations. If you're not too sure what he's talking about, this is a response to how Squid threw out some wild allegations against a user named Grums. Next up, we have Fuzzy Dragon, and this person says, The entire CM staff needs a review. A lot of things went wrong that need to be learned from here. And last but not least, we have this comment right here that says, quote, has returned to civilian life, end quote. And that's a response to when uh, the CM, aka Spitz, was fired. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, questions, or concern, comment down below. Thank you guys for the support, and I'll see you in the next one.